Beautiful souls, welcome back or welcome to The Hawk and I. My name is Lana Zielinski and I work in the spirit dimensions as always in all my videos. Simply take what resonates and you're welcome to leave the rest right here. I have some great news to share with you all today. The three musketeers that have been hanging out with me, the three spirits from Fergus, Ontario. There is a video up on the channel with a little bit more of their story. I managed to get them back to Fergus. Haley and I got our schedules lined up and we took a little road trip to one of Canada's most haunted little towns. And I will say, I was very surprised with what happened on our adventure there. And I am very happy to tell you that there are some videos coming up very soon on our adventures there. Now, the Three Musketeers, I was not prepared for their story at all. They had spent a couple of weeks hanging out in my house, ch chatting with me a little bit, but they were adamant. They were just so adamant that I had to get to Fergus to understand their story. And for a few weeks, I really wasn't understanding their their point of view on that. Why can't you just talk to me here? You're here anyway. You're causing a little bit of playful shenanigans but no they were very clear that I would understand when I felt it and I did I truly got a deeper understanding as to why we needed to go there now things get a little crazy in Fergus and the Fergus spirits the three musketeers that were hanging out with me Took us on an adventure, absolutely. And those videos are coming, I promise you. However, um, very interesting twist to the Three Musketeers. Once we spent our day um, exploring Fergus and filming and talking to Spirit, um, the Three Musketeers suddenly disappeared. They spent the day with us um, as we went to different sites and they traveled in my truck all the way to Fergus and around Fergus, um, kind of guiding us, as, kind of like tour guides now that I think of it, um, just kind of taking us where we need to go. Um, and on the way home, um, I kind of noticed that the truck felt very different. There were no Three Musketeers in my truck. And it kind of, I'll be honest with you, it kind of felt odd. <laughs> um, I got used to having them around. They were with me for a couple weeks everywhere I went. I had my three musketeers and I kind of got used to them. So we make our way back home and um, I dropped off Miss Haley at her house. Um, we were quite tired from our adventures. We've been outside all day in the glorious weather that we had. And um, I got home tired and ready for some downtime and I hopped out of my truck in my driveway and um, was unpacking the back seat um, and as I went to close the door of the truck I stopped and I stared and a part of me was like oh no what <laughs> What have we done and what do we have here? I had some passengers um, that I did not feel on the way um, home. Um, and I don't know for sure if it was because I had kind of disconnected um, from the drive and from the day. Haley and I were just kind of chit-chatting about our day and, and processing it. And uh, so I'm not quite sure um, if it was me just disconnected not paying attention or if it was spirit because um, they're kind of interesting um, when it comes to behavior. Um, but I stood there staring in my truck looking at eight spirit children. And as I stood there, they hopped out of my truck and I knew in that moment they were coming home. In the house they were hanging out I just knew I just knew that my world um, as crazy as it usually is um, was about to get a little crazier um, what do they look like they all uh, look to be under the age of 
ton. Um, they're dressed very, um, very, very plainly, very simple. Um, they have dirty little faces. Um, and, uh, and I, ch I chuckle because it's just kind of cute to see them that way. They have just like, just dirty little faces, like they've been playing or they haven't, um, had a bath in a while. Uh, and they hopped out one by one and, um, nodded at me as they got out. So big breath in. I took, I gathered up my um, items that I had taken to Fergus with me and I headed in the house and I just kind of looked over my shoulder, even though I already knew they were going to be following me. For whatever reason, I just felt the desire to look over my shoulder and sure enough, eight little children entered the home, my home with me. Now, I reviewed the rules. I went through the house rules here when it comes to spirit activity. I reviewed the do's and the don'ts. I reviewed what I'm willing to do and not willing to do. And um, they all lined up in a row, nodding away in, in agreement. And I thought, okay, okay. I, th I, th I think they understand where I stand in all this. Now, keep in mind, you guys, I'm pretty tired. So I, I, I really wasn't... Um, tapping into exactly what was going on. I was exhausted. We had done an entire day in Fergus. I was probably a little bit uh, overheated from the sun and I was just torched. So the basics that I gave them that day were just the basic house rules. Make yourself at home, but no shenanigans that um, are over the top. Now, these eight have been hanging around the last couple of days. Um, and what's very interesting is not all eight are communicating with me, which I found and I, I find, I find that a little odd. So, um, because usually the spirits quite chit chatty with me once they kind of get settled in, usually there's, there's, um, a lot to say. However, a few of them have been chatting a little bit. I, I have channeled a few of their names and I have channeled what they're up to. We're going back to Fergus to feel and hear again their story. And I'm not quite sure if how how this is all going to play out with me, you know, as, as far as spirit communication goes um, in the future. But I do understand that there's a, a lot of power in feeling the energy in specific historic places. Um, when you return there, there's it's, it's like you... The words or the story doesn't have the same feeling vibrationally as going to uh, the location, to where um, things occurred, to where things happen. Now, interestingly enough, these little spirits, they have been fairly well behaved. And I'm grateful. They, have, I am grateful because I... I'm not quite sure if I've got time in my schedule to be dealing with misbehaved spirit children, to be honest with you. Um, but they, they are very, um, vocal with singing. They, they sing. I have been waking up in the morning to old mother goose, so, um, nursery rhymes and, and, and they sing like nursery rhyme songs. They've been singing, um, a lot of songs to me. And the one song that keeps coming up to me is this, I love a lassie. And I wasn't quite sure, I'd never heard it before, so I wasn't quite sure on um, all the lyrics. I'm only hearing bits and pieces. And I, when I hear them sing, it sounds like they're very far away, um, like muffled and distant, yet the spirits themselves are very much right in front of me. Like they're, they're in my home. I can, I can see them playing. The other thing that's really interesting with this group of spirits is... I see them a lot directly across the street from me at a little park. Um, and they're playing um, on the playground equipment. Um, and they're observing other children. Now, what's interesting is this park is a smaller park. So it's it's more geared to that um, that preschool age, maybe, you know, or maybe ta late toddler ages up until maybe age six or seven. It's a little park. Um, and these kids are the same age spiritually or energetically um, 
as the kids that hang out in the park. And the spirit kids are observing, they're, they're watching the play of the physical world kids. And I can see this park from the front of my house. I can see it from my bedroom window um, with a, a beautiful view because I'm in a two-story house. So my bedroom is, uh, you know, is higher than, than the park level. So I can see them playing and observing. And it's fascinating to, um, to watch. It, it's I'm not quite sure um, what's going through their, their little minds, but they are, they are observing the present moment of our physical world children. Ah, yeah. Now, um, I am going to have to go back to Fergus. Um, these children, um, have shared with me just itty bits of their story, um, in kind of very interesting ways. They keep showing me their hands. They keep, they keep putting out their hands like this. Um, and their hands are uh, very rough. Um, I can tell that these are working hands. And these children are very young. Um, I also feel um, that, um, and given the time and history, like there's 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 a history component to all this too, of course, um, because their time frame is is late 1800s, early 1900s, so a very different world than what we know today. Um, but there's uh, there's there's also a story up there of a baby um, that was born in the middle of a lot of chaos. There's a little spirit girl named Julia who is holding this little baby boy um, and she never puts him down. And I haven't communicated much with her. She's not overly chatty yet, but she doesn't put this baby down. I haven't seen her without this baby, which is um, going to be an interesting story when I make it back to Fergus to find out what 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 happened to her um I don't feel the baby's hers and she you know Julia herself is quite young um but she's holding on to this 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 baby um like like a treasure like just she's just really attached to this baby so it's got to connect to her um as a family or a family member or perhaps she was responsible for this baby I'm not I haven't quite I heard her whole story now these Fergus spirits have been very, very unique. And, you know, I am very much aware that a, a part of, of all of this um, is from my learning as a medium, too. I think that they have been coming to me to teach me something new, um, perhaps to take me deeper into my mediumship and have a deeper understanding of, of, of what I do and the spirits from past time line from past time frames. Um, it's, it's very interesting. One thing that I've been working really hard on for myself is the whole, um, just feeling into it. Some of these spirits aren't overly verbal. They're, they're having me tap into what things feel like. And I think it's to understand the lifetime that they lived. It's, you know, words are powerful 100%, but feeling something um, is profound. I am looking forward to packing all eight of these children um, back up into my truck and um, hearing their side of their lifetime. Um, it'll be interesting to see what their perspective is when we go back. I do hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about um, the spirits, the children from the spirit dimensions. It's going to be interesting to see how this rolls out. As always, love, light, blessings, and a spirit guided day.